The vet was standing outside her office with the cat in her arms. The doctor looked upset and even a little confused, as did the cat, whose mouth was constantly open. A woman stood nearby. Lena asked the doctor what had happened and found another participant in the story. The woman turned out to be the owner of the cat, which she had brought to the clinic to be put to sleep. The cat looked very bad. It was clear that it had not been injured accidentally. Most likely it had been beaten more than once. The veterinarian tried to explain to the woman that the cat could be cured and it was not worth taking such extreme measures as euthanasia. But the owner insisted on her own, claiming that Kuza was already 10 years old and she did not need him. She also said that once a year someone would do this to him, teach him, as the woman herself explained. Lena took a video of the cat and sent it to me, saying that we had only a few minutes to decide. I immediately realized that the cat needed to be saved, not only from the lethal injection, but also from the negligent owner. Listening to the cat owner's explanations, it was hard for me to understand how degraded a person must be to talk such nonsense. As far as I'm concerned, such people should not be allowed to get close to animals. Kuzia lived with her for 10 years, and I am sure that every year was painful for him. I don't know if the cat was sent out alone or if he was treated so cruelly at home. But the woman's words were cruel and cynical, suggesting that the cat had never known what good treatment, care, or therapy was. When we said we would take the cat, the woman was very surprised. She could not understand why we needed an older animal and discouraged us by telling us that Kuzia was very fussy about food, could not catch mice, and in general was very unselfish due to his lack of teeth and advanced age. The woman tried to convince us that the only thing to do was to put the cat to sleep, but she completely ignored the veterinarian's conclusions and our arguments. When we managed to convince her to return Kuzia, the woman asked for our phone numbers and threatened to call us and demand reports on the cat's condition. We gave her our numbers and took the cat, and she was immediately blacklisted. At the clinic, the woman wrote a rejection of Kuzia and immediately said that she did not intend to pay for the examination performed by the veterinarian earlier.